All right, we're here to talk about our first summer release, uh, our 2018 Red Mountain Merlot. It's 100% uh, varietal Merlot coming out of a couple of our vineyard partners, 50% uh, Cayona Vineyard, 38% out of our own Fidelitas Estate, and 12% from Blackwood Canyon Vineyard. Um, also wanted to touch on our interesting background that we have here today. Maybe you want to talk about it a little bit. Yeah, this is the original sign we had on the property before we built the tasting room. So this is probably 2006 vintage sign. Um, huge sign and found it in storage. And we're actually in our garage studio here at, at our house. <laughs> and so we decided to hang it in the garage and uh, makes for a nice backdrop for today. Yeah, so um, this is traditionally a wine that we had released um, early on in the year, around February, but this year decided to uh, hold on to it and release it um, coming up later this month in June. Um, it's one of the lighter wines that we make. I mean, it's kind of hard to make a light wine out of Red Mountain, but when you compare this to different wines in our lineup, um, definitely going to be something that... Um, you're going to be able to drink right away. You can drink it on its own, or it's one of the more food-friendly wines that we make here at Fidelitas. Yeah, so I think it's just, a, it's got this classic Merlot characteristic from Washington of, you know, sort of dark fruit, black fruit. Um, right when you pop the cork, you can you can get that. And, it, it you know, we've had this open a while. It's even opening up more and kind of got those classic... Uh, Classic aromas, and then I think you get a little bit of spice and tobacco on the on the nose as well. Um, but I, I mean, I'm a big Merlot fan, as many of you know, and uh, this is a this is a great one, uh, and a and a great time to release it. So, yeah, this is a hundred percent aged in neutral barrels, um, so definitely a very fruit driven wine, which is. Um, for some of our other single vineyard Merlots, we'll put quite a bit of new oak on those, but for something like this, um, really trying to bring the fruit out and the aroma and the palate, and it definitely shows. Nice lingering finish, you know, nice, nice on the palate, but we'll kind of refer to this as lighter, but really not overwhelming with concentration and, and tannic and tannins that we might see in, you know, some of our bigger uh, Cabernet Sauvignon. So, a nice change in our in our lineup, and a and a great wine for the summer. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers.